Hello, I'm Lisa. I am doing a video um, about my road trip. Um, I am almost 50. I'm from Denver, Colorado, and I have always wanted to get out on the road and explore the world and explore my country and see people for what they are instead of seeing people like TV and movies um, show us that they are. Um, so this has been a really fun experience. This is actually my third road trip of a very similar type. Um, this one I'm probably a little more prepared for. Um, doing it a little bit um, very similar to the other ones, but um, I have a little bit more money this time and I know a little bit more about what to expect and know about how I travel. So how I travel is on a budget. Um, I have a job that allows me to work from the road um, and I'm able to get a Wi-Fi connection. I actually have an iPad also that connects to my phone service. <clears throat> so if I can't find a Wi-Fi connection, I can just use my, my computer through my phone, which is actually what I'm doing right now. Um, but I left Denver about three weeks ago. Should have done this a while a while back because my experiences have been just absolutely amazing. I stay somewhere different almost every night. Um, sometimes I travel at night, um, and sometimes I travel during the day. When I travel, and I take very, very, very few interstates. Sometimes I have to, um, but if I have a choice and it makes sense, and um, and it doesn't have any crazy passes, then I will. Um, um, choose the highway most definitely. I'm traveling with a Jeep, a 99 Jeep with 225,000 miles and a 1972 trailer. We're on the side of it right now. I'm sitting on my bed. My kitchen is back here. Um, my closet's right there. <laughs> my cat is right there. <clears throat> and this is how I'm living. Um, uh, it's pretty fun. Pretty, 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 pretty fun. And I want to challenge every one of you to get out there and explore. Um, some things that I do on my own, I travel alone, um, is I really enjoy being by myself. Um, I'm able to kind of set my own schedule. I'm able to see what I want to see. I can go slow. I can go fast. I can um, sleep in. I can not sleep at all. <laughs> and so that's kind of what I do. Some days, some days I, I can sleep 10 hours and others I can sleep 3 hours. But anyway, um, I want to challenge all of you to get out and um, enjoy this wonderful country of ours. I, would, I did leave Denver before the end of September. Um, November, September, October 1st, the government shut down all the national parks, which is unfortunate. Um, but I was able to get through the Tetons and through Yellowstone. Um... Um, and see some beautiful, beautiful country and some wildlife. And I actually got to camp in Yellowstone um, at the north end. Um, stayed in Gardner also and then traveled up through Montana on that highway. I think it's 89. Uh, and went into um, up to Bull Lake, if anybody's been there. It was pretty desolate. <laughs> um, but I was trying to get to Glacier and Glacier was closed. So I, I decided to kind of go west. Um, um, was going to head up into Canada, right above Bonners Ferry, Idaho, and the weather was coming in. Um, you got to be a little careful that way. So I stayed south, went back, dropped back down into Idaho, went across Washington, and I'm. Uh, my goal was to get to the Coffee Fest, which is a coffee um, convention every four months in the United States. So I was able to get to um, one day of that, which was on Sunday in Seattle. Um, I'm staying, however, across Puget Sound at Gig Harbor, which is closer to Tacoma. Um, so I took the ferry across, which I love the water. I think I need to live on the water somewhere. Um, anyway, and just look for some, some um, videos for me, maybe every day, probably every day. Um, um, Let's see, let's talk about the most exciting thing that's happened to me since I've been on the road. Waterfall, maybe. I saw a great waterfall in Montana. Um, I found a place to have breakfast, and the gal says, well, you can't just leave Montana. You have to go see 
these falls, and I can't remember the name of them. Indian name, logging country. Oh my lordy. Absolutely amazing. And there was a swinging bridge. Um, the falls were, on, for, were uh, a little f to the right, and then the swinging bridge was to the left. So first I walked to the falls, which I probably shouldn't have done, because then I might have actually crossed the, the water on the bridge. <laughs> Instead, I saw how powerful this water was, and it scared me. It was... I've seen Niagara, so it's similar to the power that I saw in Niagara. Um, so when I went down to the swinging bridge, I was like, I can do this. Do -do -do -do. Got up there, took about four steps, <laughs> scared myself. Um, I was able to get halfway across and decided that if I went all the way across, I may not come back. So I turned around and went back. Um, I've met a few, I'm a sister on the fly. Um, it's a group of women who, um, it's a group, and they say um, we make girls out of women. Um, a lot of us are outdoorsy, we have vintage trailers, we fly fish, and we love each other. It's a great group, and I'm Sister 1221. Um, I've had the opportunity to stay and visit, and or visit with three different sisters um, already, two in Wyoming and one in Montana, and that's been a special gift as well. Um, ciao!